Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a few days back some of my subscribers have been requesting me to make a video on IAT or KPV in general. So I thought why not call my friend Sarthak Tripathi who is my classmate at ISA Pune and is also an All India Rank 5 in KPV SB and has cleared me other major competitive examinations. So without further ado, let's say hello to Sarthak Tripathi. Hello guys, I'm Sarthak. I am currently studying in Aysar Pune in my first year of BSMS and in about a month from now my first year is going to be over but it just feels like I got into Aysar a month ago time has passed really fast I also feel the same way bro but what can we do of online semester anyways here's the first question In class 8, for the first time I remember, we were taught optics in a appreciable detail, I'd say. Like, one can appreciate optics for what it is. And I was really amazed, like some light passing through glass and then you see it and you describe it using equations. You find where the image will be. It was really magical to me. So I was very much involved into this topic and in fact I even remember I found out a formula re uh, regarding something to do with lenses and the movement of light through it. Of course it turned out to be very wrong. Nevertheless it was, it was so interesting that I think that's the starting point where I really turned towards aspiring for pure science. The SCB exam I remember was held a week before J advance and well I wasn't preparing anything explicitly for the paper of IAT. I was hoping everything was covered within the J's advanced syllabus and well it turned out to be a relatively easy paper. When you compare it with J advanced I found it was relatively easy. <laughs> So in the question paper we had to solve all the four sections. So I went first as I do usually for chemistry because it usually gets over within 20-30 minutes and then I attempted physics because that's my strong point. And then I went for maths because maths took some time around one and one one and a half hour it took for me to solve the math section of it. And then biology, I think I had 30 to 45 minutes remaining for that. So I went through the biology section. From what I vaguely remembered from class 10, I attempted 5 to 6 questions. And out of them, I guess 2 to 3 turned out to be correct. The funny experience I had in the exam hall. Uh, there, was, there was a girl who was sitting next to me, like, like across the computer. And she was about to sneeze and we know it's a pandemic, we should have our masks on. And what she, what she did was, uh, when she was about to sneeze, she took her mask off and sneezed in open air. And I was really shocked, like, how can you do that? You're not supposed to open your mask. And yeah, like that's it about the exam hall. I would like to introduce you to Kochair, which is co-founded by my classmate Sayan Yogi and is an a tech startup to help students of 12th and below to develop the right inquisitiveness for science and technology. He also provides one-to-one -one career guidance session for a very nominal charge which will give you a well-informed decision for your own future. So click the links in the description for more information. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, so in May 2020, we know that the virus was peaking in its cases and death rates as well. That time, towards the end of April, my dad got infected with the virus. And no one knew anything of what kind of treatment to be given or any any no idea so he was taken to quarantine for 10 days 
and those 10 days i'd say were the most difficult times i've ever faced because like my mom was also suffering a lot from <coughs> you know there's there's a lot of mental pressure during that time so i had to keep myself calm i managed to keep myself calm throughout and but actually somewhere i was very you know broken i could say and it, and for 3 months to come i couldn't study well and nothing i was just i was just blank nothing much but fortunately that time got over and then things moved on again getting into iso was really a big event that happened oh, miracle actually like what i had done in the scb paper i wasn't very confident whether i'd get into iso pune or not because last year statistics i had seen on cora i guess that um like someone with a 100 19 got into iso pune so i thought like maybe that was the cut off and what i got was actually 113 or 114 marks in the scb paper so i i i i was not very confident that i'll get into iso pune but one of my friends also in my coaching institute he he was he also gave the paper and he he had researched everything about iso and one day he calls me and asks how much did you get in scb then i said like 113 114 and he says well then we're selected to iso pune then i was like how are you so sure that we'll get selected and he was like you just see we'll get selected so i was like okay let's see like it should happen and then after like a month later we got our offer letters from iso two to three days before that he had researched many things about iser and he found a whatsapp group link from cora and he sent that to me as a bit skeptical because like how much can you trust cora like i wasn't sure that time so i didn't join it initially but then i i was reluctant but still i joined somehow uh, and i got the offer letter then i saw that okay many people are here even the seniors seem legitimate so it was a really funny not not funny exactly but an interesting way of getting into a college in this pandemic time where you're really not sure but you are going somewhere and it was a very dilemmatic decision as well i'd say because i had also got a seat in iit kharagpur for integrated physics and that was really confusing as to whether i should sacrifice an iit kharagpur seat for iser or not but i was never inclined towards doing any business or anything like i i am not after money at all and so i was very much into research and everyone my, my parents and i consulted all of them pointed towards iser i said pune is best for research like and that's how we got i got into iser and classes have started first day is almost over and my family was also very happy to know that i got into iser and fortunately many of my family members know what iser is unlike many of my friends i find here like most of them their family doesn't even know what iser is so in that sense as a bit, bit fortunate that they knew about it and everyone was happy with it like no one was like you should have gone there you didn't no one was like that everyone is happy with this decision currently i'm planning to do a major in physics and a minor in maths for my bsms program and i'm aiming to become a theoretical physicist because we still have the grand unified theory not so much in our hands 
well string theory has come up but still it's it's not very relevant in the picture as scientists say so i want to work towards that As a piece of advice I don't have anything really new to give like you all know you should be utilizing your time it's nothing new and many people miss out on that like they don't keep track of their time it just keeps moving on and they just keep relaxing and don't start working right now you might be thinking like I have one year I have two years uh, but really just trust me like it will go like you'll never notice it see like the pandemic started since 2020 and it's already been one and a half years to that but it just feels like it's only been 6 to 7 months and that is how the nature of time is when you are really occupied you don't know when it goes away right so keep using it like give mock tests and from mock tests i remember there is something that they give usually Oh, something called a rank potential index right and my advice is like don't take that too seriously okay a rank is not a deterministic factor of how well you're going to perform on the exam day and that performance is the only thing in your hand you don't have a rank in your hand like look at it from a mathematical perspective and see that if every student is equally likely to get a rank uh, then like they are equally talented just assuming uh, then to get a particular rank you only have a like a probability of half to power n minus 1 right yeah when n is in the order of 10 to power 6 you know how low that probability is so you can frankly say that my rank does not depend on me but depends on others and for the matter of fact i believe that it's true in fact it it is true and so like if if you don't get a 100% then you can't say for sure that i'm getting a rank one and that's not a good thing to keep track of the rank but make sure that your performance develops like in the first mock test you might get a 40% next 5 6 mock tests you try to raise it to a 45 and then keep on like keep improving your marks don't 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 look at the rank at all i would say and it like very important not to look at it towards the exam time right that that is the most misleading time in terms of rank predictions and so especially if exams are close stop looking at the rank entirely and rather be focusing on your skills and sharpening your concepts is much more important right you 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 should strive for attempting more and more questions correctly and also you should have a lot of energy while giving the paper right It, it's not like you should be drained out or half sleepy while giving the paper <laughs> uh my teacher used to say that your preparation should be such uh that even if i wake you up by beating you in the middle of the night at 3 am and make you sit for a paper you should be able to solve it fully uh well that might sound a way to idealistic situation but trust me only when you prepare yourself till that level will you be really confident of doing something otherwise you will do well i'm not saying you won't do well but that strength is usually not going to come in the exam hall right so make sure you strive towards your perfection rather than striving for some you know position <laughs>